Hey everybody, welcome back, Ryan Nelson here, and I wanna take you guys down the exciting journey of file organization, right after this. All right, so here's a scenario for you. Your friend calls you up and says, hey Ryan, can you come over and shoot uh, 15 seconds of me skateboarding across the bridge? I just, I want a short clip to put up on Instagram and social media and tell everybody how much I just love to skateboard. Okay, cool, simple, right? Okay, so you grab your gear, you grab your camera, battery, memory card, throw it in your bag. So you head out, you do your shoot, you come back, you load your files onto your computer. You say to yourself, hey, this is a simple shoot, I just need to make one folder, dump everything in it, because it's only one clip. I only shot one clip, it took one shot, I rocked it, it was awesome. You load it into Premiere, you find your 15 seconds that work perfectly, bam! You're like, yeah, that's a pretty cool 15 seconds, but you know what would really make this better? A little bit of B-roll. You call your friend back up. Hey, I'm grabbing my stuff. I'm coming out. I need to shoot just a few more clips to make this totally awesome video for you. So you get out, you shoot your B-roll, you come back, you load that onto your computer. Ah, it's only a couple more clips of B-roll. I'll just dump that right in the folder. Same thing, you load that into Premiere, you go through, you select your cool little B-roll shots, you drop that in there. Hey, this video is looking pretty good. But you know what would make it even better? Let's do a little voiceover so you can express to your friends how much you love skateboarding. So you pull out the mic, you set up a little sound booth, record a little audio, drop that into the folder. Okay, just one more file, we're good. We're just gonna throw it right in there, bring the audio clip into Premiere. Hey, it needs a little tweaking. We take it into Audition, we edit it, we drop it right back into Premiere. Okay, hey, this project is coming together pretty cool. You know what this really will like make this awesome is a little After Effects title. So you get online, you find a little template, you buy it, you take that into After Effects, you make a little project, export that, one more file, no biggie. Bring that into Premiere, drop down on your timeline. Hey, you know, this is really coming together pretty good, but we need one more thing to tie everything together, a little bit of music. So we go online again, find the perfect little short tune, download that, drop that into your folder, bring that into Premiere, add it to your timeline. That sounds awesome, it looks good. You know, after we export this, we're gonna need one more thing. We're gonna need a thumbnail to go with it. So you get into your program, you find a couple of little clips that you can take a thumbnail screenshot of, drop that all into one folder. Next thing you're like, oh my God, what happened here? I, it was just supposed to be one clip, one file, one 15 second thing. And now I've got over 20 files in this one folder. Okay, so let's rewind. Let's go back to when we first shot that first clip. What should we have done? Now it all starts when you make your new folder. I use date codes, it goes year, month, day. I learned this from a Canadian photographer I worked with uh, maybe five or six years ago. It didn't really make sense to me at the time, but I started doing it and all of a sudden my files were completely organized. It works, try it. So this one's labeled 180412-skateboard. All right, within there I'm gonna make a Premiere Pro file. I just label it PP, I make one for After Effects, and I label it AE. Under Premiere Pro, I create a footage folder. Under the footage folder, I create camera one, or main camera, or mark three, or I shot it with my 24 to 70, so I label it that way. It doesn't really matter how you label it, just whatever makes sense for you, uh, label it that way. So I put my first bit of footage into the camera one folder. When I went out and shot the B-roll, that goes into a folder called B-roll. When I did the voiceover, I dropped that into a folder called audio or voiceover, whatever you want to call it. Uh, music, same thing, that goes into a folder called music. Everything gets its own little folder, that way you know absolutely exactly where everything is at anytime you need to go look for it. This also works if you're working over multiple computers and you're just working off one hard drive and you open it up and it says, oh, I can't find this file or these 20 files. You find one file, it generally finds the rest if you keep it all in one file. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. But break everything down into little folders. It helps keep things organized, even if you think it's just gonna be the most basic project, because you're always gonna add something later. You, you're never just gonna put one clip in, export it, and be done. You'll always want to do something else to it. All right, I know this seems like it could be a lot of work up front, and it is, I mean, there's, n there's no way around it. There's a little bit of work to keep organized, but in the end, it pays off. Now, one simple way to do this every time, it's so easy to do. What I do is I go onto my desktop and I make a folder called Basic Folders. 
And then within that, I create my After Effects folder, I create my Footage folder, Premiere Pro, Footage folder, uh, Camera One, Two, Three, and I just copy and paste those into every new folder that I make for every project. So that way, all the folders are already there, I don't have to sit there and waste five minutes. Right click, new folder, rename, right click, new folder, rename. It's already done for you, you just have to drop whatever footage into the proper folders. Now this is really gonna help you keep consistent, keep organized if you do this for every project that you do. Um, it just becomes kind of ingrained in the back of your head. You know right where everything's at. You don't have to go through and like hunt down different files. You're like, oh, well, I know I used this clip, but it was over here. And I thought it was over here, but maybe I put it over here. Stay organized. It really, really helps. Especially when your small projects turn into bigger projects or you're starting off on an already big project. All right, a big thanks to all my new subscribers over the past few weeks. Um, love all the comments. I'm glad you guys are digging what I'm doing. I really love doing it, and I hope it helps everybody out. Uh, even helps me out quite a bit. Uh, if you like this video, give it a nice big thumbs up. You can find that down down here somewhere. Maybe, maybe no, it's the one that no, it's the one that goes like this, not not like this, like this, this. This is the thumbs up, just thumbs up. There's also a really nice big red. It's about this size, maybe maybe over down here too, under the thumbs. It says subscribe. Hit that, just go for it. I dare you, I double dare you to hit the subscribe button because I got more of these coming and I will see you guys next time.